Hey there, little uh, anecdote from the past of gaming. Um, if you then don't know whether you've heard of the games Ultima Underworld, two parts, one and two. And uh, back then it was difficult with sound and music, you know. Um, you had something called General MIDI, and that was uh, like a database of uh, so-called realistic uh, musical instrument samples. And they were pieced together like module files uh, to make music. And um, Ultima Underworld 1 uh, had support for this, but only for sound too. So if we activate it for the music, it would also be applied to the sound effect that would, that would cause, um, would sound very weird. So they, uh, in Undi Under Ultima Underworld 2, they um, had that separated in part also because you had sound effects uh, no longer as a frequency synthesis as was standard back then with sound blaster stuff but um, with samples like recorded sound effects so they separated that and you could have proper music uh, but the problem there was uh, and this is to uh, to show to you how tedious it could have been it was uh, in part back then with the general MIDI um, the developers developed, composed the music for Ultima Underworld 2 on a hardware device called Roland MT32. So they made the music based on that and listened to it. And of course, that had a very different sample set of musical instruments. But um, many people back then had general MIDI. So sound cards with general MIDI support was standard. And that would... Uh, not sound very good. And so on the following, I want to show you the, uh, so the launch up of the game and then the pieces of the intro so that you can listen to it. First, the Sound Blaster 16 standard, so the basic, not wave table. So the, it was very primitive uh, synthesized uh, frequencies back then. They used that for the music, but that too they optimized. They knew that many people would have only that and optimized the music for that. So that didn't sound quite bad. Then, then after that, we will examine some alternatives until finally coming to the one that it, it was originally composed on. So following is uh, the start with the Sound Blaster 16, the absolute basic. Again, note, not the worst in the bunch. Check it out. So that was that. As you could hear, it sounded quite primitive and funny at times. Um, following is, um, I, I ordered it in, in quality a bit. So what's following is not back then general MIDI, but this is uh, now the uh, Microsoft synthesis. So this is a modern on modern systems where it's a software emulated what back then was the hardware, general MIDI hardware and chip on a sound card. So this is the modern emulation, software emulation of what you had back then, which is really not that impressive. Listen to this.
So as you could hear, especially at the beginning of the intro sequence, the story sequence, where you notice that the repeating sounds were totally too present and it was all very off, sounded awful. Um, that is the best, uh, the best uh, indicator there of that it is not optimized for it. So following is the general MIDI as it would have been back then, and I picked a standard wave table, but a quite large one for proper quality. So this, what you are hearing now, is um, as it would have been back then with proud owners of a sound card with a MIDI synthesis uh, chip on it. Uh, it might have sounded a little bit worse even back then, but this is about it. Listen to this. So you will notice it sounds a little bit better, a little bit in, in the direction of natural, but uh, still quite artificial. So what is following now is something, uh, I'm using a so-called bass MIDI driver for this to load um, custom sound tables, wave tables for the MIDI emulation. And the following is called Timbers of Heaven. That is the biggest one. And depending on the musical piece, different wave tables might sound better or worse. So it's not a, cannot say that this Timbers of Heavens is generally best sounding for everything. You know, I want to express how difficult it was back then with finding the right thing. And uh, so, but uh, this wave table is top notch in terms of quality, you know, what has been recorded and it's trying to push the maximum out of general MIDI to make it very impressive and powerful. And this is what you can do with that. Again, quality of the instrument, how they sound, but not necessarily optimized for the original production. So listen to this, the best effort for uh, making general MIDI sound top notch. All right, and now follows the original, which took me quite a lot of digging in, in the web and uh, trying complicated solutions that didn't quite work and then eventually finding the right link and was very tedious. Eventually I managed to uh, emulate a proper MT32 standard. So this, what you're hearing now is again, old technology from back then comparable a little bit technologically to general MIDI, but the way that the game was, the, the music in the game was composed, what it was supposed to sound like. And I have to mention that there are certain mods for these games, like there's what I can recommend, a mouse aim patch, which also adds some very convenient keyboard shortcuts. You should uh, check the games out because of the, the story, you know, they are very excellent role-playing games even though the technology is a bit outdated. 
So there are um, recorded music pieces available for the games so that you, then you can use some add-ons uh, to apply them to play them back. And I checked out some of them and I identified one wave table in them, but generally a bit disappointing. But here's the original MT32 to show you what it was meant to sound like. Enjoy. So as you could hear, the instrument quality is maybe not the best, doesn't sound very realistic, but the way the instruments are used, the way they sound and the whole composition, everything together, very balanced, very nice. So yeah, and this is how complicated it was back then. And today, you know, you could just play that and record that and you would have a WAV file and you could make an MP3 or anything out of it and play that. And it sounds exactly the same everywhere. This is how it is today and back then you could say good riddance, all that complication there. So there are new technologies, even though I don't celebrate all new technologies over old ones, but that one I appreciate. And to name another example, SSDs over hard disks. So yeah, <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye.